What's up bros, now today I'm going to be showing some custom Batman and Avengers combination minifigures from my new custom collectible minifigure series. So let's get down to business. Now first let's start off with the first five minifigures that I did show in an earlier video, but I did upgrade them specifically for this collectible minifigure series video, so let's talk about the upgrades. Now first up for Iron Man, originally the minifigure was just completely silver, but I decided for the collectible minifigure series version I would add some gold. So all I really did was just add some golden hands and I switched out the original dark red and silver legs for some legs from the original Mark 50 Iron Man minifigure. I wanted to use the Mark, I believe, 43 or something, which is from the Age of Ultron sets, but while making the thumbnail for this video, the legs of that minifigure broke, so I just had to use the Mark 50 ones, and I do think they still get the job done, and they make this minifigure a bit more different compared to the first version I made. And also for this Iron Bat custom, I added an accessory because this is a collectible minifigure series. I added this nanotech gauntlet blaster piece. It does look like a blaster just like what Tony used for his Mark 50 nanotech suit. And uh, this is pretty simple to make, I don't really think I need to explain how to make it or like add a tutorial just an extra thing that I decided to add to this custom minifigure. And for the Hawkeye minifigure, I switched out the legs for some legs from the original Hawkeye minifigure. Originally they had some TIE Fighter pilot legs, and I switched out the headpiece for a Boba Fett head print. Originally the head was from an Agent Phil Coulson minifigure I believe, so that's all I did to upgrade this minifigure. Now for Thor, originally he had this hero armor which was from Ninjago and he also had a red cape, but this time I decided to switch out the red cape for a dark blue cape to match the aesthetic of the minifigure. I felt like the red cape made this minifigure stand a bit out which isn't what I was going for and I switched out the armor for this random silver armor piece and originally the legs were from the Black Widow minifigure but this time I switched them out for some random black legs with some light silver printing on them to match the armor piece and the rest of the silver parts of the minifigure and originally I turned the hammer into like a staff or like a hammer with a, like a long handle but this time I removed that and just decided to like just have the normal Mjolnir hammer. Now for Black Widow the only change was I switched out the legs which were originally from the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Electro minifigure for some DCEU Batman legs and to make this look more like a collectible minifigure series blind bags minifigure series I gave her an extra accessory which was this grappling hook gun. Now for the Captain America Batman minifigure because I think that this minifigure itself was originally already really good so yeah that's basically it for this custom. But anyway that's basically it for the five upgraded customs from the older video. Now let's start taking a look at the new custom Avengers Batman customs that I've made to make this minifigure video into a collectible minifigure series video. Now for the sixth custom in today's CMF video, we have a custom Bruce Banner. Now both the legs and the torso of this custom minifigure are both from some random scientist minifigure from the Lego Ninjago movie. The head we're going to be using is from a Justin Hammer minifigure and then we're going to take this random black hair piece and we have the completed Bruce Banner custom. Now this is the most simple custom in this entire custom CMF series. But anyway, for his accessories, we're just gonna give him this test tube. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this Bat Hulk custom. I mean, Bruce Banner. Now, for the seventh custom in this CMF series, we have a custom and bat. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure, I have no idea where these are from, I apologize. But the torso is just from a random Batman minifigure. We're gonna take this black armor piece, pop that on right there. We're gonna take this random headpiece, 
attach that to the torso and we're going to take this Hank Pym Ant-Man helmet piece. Pop that onto the head and then we have the completed Ant-Bat custom. Now this custom is just you know a combination of Ant-Man and Batman, pretty self-explanatory. We're just going to give him a battering and then we have the completed custom. Now for the 8th custom in today's CMF series, we have a combination of Batman and Captain Marvel. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from the DCEU Flash minifigure from the first Justice League movie. The torso is from a Captain Marvel minifigure with some dark blue arms and some golden hands. Then for the most special part of this custom, I took this Captain Marvel headpiece and I attached some white tape to cover the eyes right here so that way I can attach a Batman cowl piece. Pop that on right there. Now for her accessories, we're just going to give her some power blast pieces. Then that's basically it for this Captain Marvel and Batman combination custom. Now for the ninth custom in this CMF series, we have a combination of Batman and Spider-Man. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from the integrated suit from Spider-Man No Way Home. The torso is from a random Batman minifigure with some dark gray arms and some red hands. We're gonna take this random Batman cape piece. We're gonna attach this Miles Morales Spider-Man headpiece. And we're gonna take this piece which is from Black Panther. And then we have the completed costume. Now, a lot of people make spider bat customs, especially on Instagram, which is why I wanted to make something different from every other spider bat custom that I've seen, which is why this custom looks a little bit weird. But for spider bat's accessories, we're just going to give him a battering, and then we have the completed custom. Now for the 10th custom in this custom CMF series, we have spider bats sidekick, the spider. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are just some mid-legs. Torso is from a Miles Morales minifigure with some printed arms which are from a General Zod minifigure from the LEGO Batman movie CMF series. We have some dark red hands. We're gonna take this short cape piece. We're gonna take this random ninja headpiece, which I believe is from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And we're gonna take the same piece that I used for the spider Bat custom, which is from the Black Panther minifigure. Well, it's used for all Black Panther minifigures. And then we have the completed spider custom. Now, this is basically like the Robin for spider Bat. I just decided to call him the spider, which is something really simple. And this guy is Miles Morales, and spider Bat is Peter Parker, of course. But for his accessories, we're just going to give him some web shooter pieces. Yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the 11th minifigure in this custom CMF series, we have a Quantum Bat Suit. Now the legs and the torso of this custom minifigure are both, of course, from the Avengers Endgame Quantum Suits. We're gonna take this black Sons of Garmadon armor piece from Ninjago, pop that onto the back of the torso. We're gonna take this random Batman headpiece. We're gonna take this white lower ninja mask piece, which is from Ninjago, attach that onto the head and pop that onto the torso. Then we're gonna pop on this custom bat cowl piece onto the head. And then we have the completed custom quantum bat suit. Now this is basically just, you know, what if Batman had a quantum suit and he was in the Avengers and everything, but for his weapons, we have this shrinking ray because, you know, the quantum suits use Pym Tech, so why not give Batman a Pym Tech weapon so, you know, this shrinking gun can just like shrink things and stuff. But yeah, that's basically it for the weirdest custom in this video. Now for the 12th and last minifigure in this custom CMF series, we have a combination of Batman and Shang-Chi. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Black Widow minifigure. 
The torso is from the official Shang-Chi minifigure, and we're gonna take this red armor piece from Ninjago, pop that onto the back of the torso, then we're gonna take this random Batman headpiece, and we're gonna attach a random bat cowl piece, and then we have the completed custom. I have no idea what to name this custom, it's a combination of Batman and Shang-Chi. It kinda looks like Daredevil though, which is the only problem with this custom. And then we basically have the completed custom. Now, I hope you bros enjoy these seven new costumes that I added to the original Upgraded 5 to create a custom Avengers and Batman collectible minifigure series. I will be making more custom collectible minifigure series videos, so yeah, there's not much else to really talk about. Feel free to check out my other videos. I mostly make mocks and, of course, custom minifigures. Have a great day. See you, bros.